to help you get a good home inspection or at least advise you that you should have one done. And why should you have one done on new construction? After all, it's new, right? There's gonna be a warranty with it. Well, there is gonna be a warranty with it that will protect systems and different things and perhaps they'll come back at the 11 month mark and check for nail pops and address any paint issues or whatever uh, one year into your home warranty when you build new construction. But quite frankly, what goes on in these new construction is you have an electrician that comes out. He wires the home, you know, perhaps you're going around and you're looking at uh, your kitchen counters and they've put in some GFCIs. They've put in some outlets ground faults that'll help protect you in water situations when you've got the blow dryer or you've got a big appliance running near a water source. So then what happens is, and I learned this quite some time ago from a mentor of mine. Um, so the electrician will come out and then the, the inspector will come out um, and look at code and give it the thumbs up and say, you know what, now we have the clear for plumbing or vice versa, perhaps the plumbing's going in first and the they get the thumbs up from the city inspector to come out and say, you know what, it looks good. We're ready to move on to the next phase and now it's electrical. But the problem comes in is when your plumber hasn't worked side by side with the electrical person. And so now you have a water line that is somewhere running before or the electrical person who came and installed certain things, they don't know where the plumbing lies. So you've got all these different contractors coming out to make the product whole, but they haven't spoke to each other. Each of them in their respective professional category has merely been given the thumbs up by the person from the city who's coming out and telling them that this passes and now we're ready for the, uh, the certificate of occupancy so that you can occupy and close on the property. Far times, more often than not, we're finding that there are more issues in doing a home inspection, a good home inspection, on new construction. Because the left hand hasn't talked to the right hand, they don't know what they're doing. And things aren't quite made the way they used to be. You hear that term all the time, I swear by it. I look at the way uh, things are manufactured and built these days, and craftsmanship and quality is not quite there. And don't kid yourself, even on new construction, you're paying a lot of money for something that is gonna be warrantied for a few years to come on its systems and uh, defects of the home that are found after the fact. But once you sign those papers, it's a little too late to say, oh, I wish we would have done a home inspection. So a little, uh, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. I'm all about risk mitigation. If you found value in today's video of having a home inspection for new construction, I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel Heart it, like it, give it a thumbs up, and we'll look to see you in a future video.